Hey, this is Anthony Threads You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our fall update to our 2017 motorcycle helmet gear guide at Revzilla.com. In this video, I'm gonna break down the best new helmet models and graphics for the latter half of 2017. This is based on our riding, our research and expert opinion, and ultimately these helmets are helmets that were noteworthy to us that launched after the spring rush. And I will tell you, this spring of 2017 was huge. So in years past, we had a multitude of tables. This year, it's a handful of graphics and a few key models that really passed muster when we said what are truly the best that need to be on everybody's radar. Remember, this is part of our larger gear guide series, helmets, jackets, boots, gloves. We cover the best in all of the key categories of motorcycle gear, whether you're upgrading or just starting out. You can check those out at revzilla.com slash guides. And you can always click the info button and shop the full collection and read rider reviews on everything I'm going to show you today. Now, first up on my table is the new HJC IS-5. It is a three-quarter helmet, comes in just over the $100 mark, and we absolutely love it. It's an intermediate oval head shape. It has the integrated drop-down sun visor, two pounds, 10 ounces. Again, won't break the bank, but HJC is really up their game, and we love the fact that they've done an intermediate shape, which, just like my head, a little bit longer front to back, will serve most of the US market. The other thing that's really cool, outside of all the stock finishes, some of the baseline graphics, graphics and metallics on this helmet is they've also done some of the licensing on this IS-5 as well. There's an X-Wing fighter pilot from Star Wars graphic, which looks amazing. And again, part of the Marvel and part of the Star Wars series as they've done some licensed helmets this year. Now, moving into our first favorite new graphic. And again, we thought it was slim pickings. Message to all you moto gear and moto helmet manufacturers, make better graphics, even in the latter half of the year. This is the Fly Revolt FS ink and needle graphic. Two colors, there's the black and white, there's also a gunmetal gray. Now the Fly Revolt is a $135, three pound, 13 ounce DOT and Snell rated helmet that carries a longer oval head shape. The ink and needle graphic is their tattoo art. So we can see the black and white version, you have a lot of things going on. It's not overly cartoony, it's actually a bit gritty. It really stood out to us as, hey, that's a very affordable helmet, it carries a Snell rating, and it's very cool to see them go ink and needle, which again, screams tattoo, no drug references there. If it was just the needle graphic, we can't go down in those weeds. But ultimately, if you looked at the helmet, it did stand out to us. And remember, there is going to be a gunmetal version of this guy as well. But I will tell you, if you're not long and narrow, if you're not that long oval head shape, it's probably not the best fit for you. Now, moving into the center of the table, the most technology advanced new model that we saw over the course of the latter half of the year, this is the Arai DTX. And if we look at this helmet, it's really geared for upright to three quarter riding, less so in the tuck, but it is Snell and DOT rated. You can take it to the track. Track, three pounds, nine ounces, but the claim to fame here is that it's intermediate oval. Arai does the Corsair X at the top of the food chain. That's the race thoroughbred for $900 to $1,000. Intermediate oval, a little bit longer front to back. Now they have the DTX standing for Downtown X, which is an everyday rider. Again, really universally fit, like I said, on the street, on the track, but ultimately you're coming in just over the $500 mark. So before you really had the Signet X, which is long oval. You had the Quantum X, which is going to be round oval, but you didn't have an intermediate, which is a little bit more attainable from a budgetary standpoint. So again, you're getting a lot of the race bred DNA and a lot of the protection DNA of the highest level of Arai, and now you're coming down into the mid fives to save you a ton of cash. Still with the Eco Pure lining, the VASV shield change mechanism, a lot of the new comfort features you've seen go into the three models I mentioned previously, but you now have this helmet that's a much more attainable price. Again, 500 plus dollars is still super premium in my eyes, but again, you're not $1,000. And remember, everything we have on, on the table here is gonna ship for free over 39 bucks, and I'd love if you click our logo, subscribe to Threadzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback, but most importantly, let me know what I missed from a model or from a graphic standpoint. We move fast, we have our favorites, what were your favorites? Now, next up is going to be another one of our favorite graphics, and again, it's only the second graphic on the table, and is one of two graphics that were best ofs for this latter half of 17. This is the Icon Airframe Pro Quicksilver graphic, and remember, the Airframe Pro was Helmet of the Year 2015. Three pounds, six ounces, DOT, ECE rated, hardcore aggressive aerodynamics. 
end profile. This is meant for chin on the tank or three quarter riding. This is a sport oriented helmet. Now the Quicksilver is very cool. We looked at the Quicksilver and we said, this is like Silver Surfer if we rode a, a fixed gear. This could be the T-1000 from Terminator 2 if he was a hipster. And I say that all with love because what you have is this hand done paint scheme that looks like liquid metal, but then it's burnished and vintaged out. So it has a little bit of depth, a little bit of character. These are hand finished. Each one has a different feel. Very, very cool. Three pounds, six ounces, goes up a little bit, couple ounces, because there's a multitude of layers of paint here. But again, staying in that three and a half pound mark, it's still not a heavy helmet. Again, make sure you watch a full detail breakdown video on all of these, but specifically this Airframe Pro, it comes in at the $400 mark. Again, you need to understand the nuance. The other thing about this, this helmet is it is a long oval front to back. So again, long and narrow where we've seen the Revolt, but ultimately the two, the Arai as well as the HAC are gonna be that intermediate. And last of our our table, table is another intermediate. This is the Shoei RFSR. And I actually got to play in this helmet in Japan, in the wind tunnel, outside in the burbs of Tokyo with the Shoei team. Very, very cool. They hit a $400 mark with essentially a lot of the DNA that they've stolen from what we call the Goldilocks of helmets, which is that RF 1200, which again is that helmet to have if you can spend over five and have only one. Now the RF 1200 is gonna come in the mid fives. This guy at 400 bucks saves you 100 to $150. Again, geared for universal type riding, upright, maybe in the three quarter. I'm not gonna say take it to the track, although it is Snell and DOT rated three pounds, nine ounces. And the nice part here, like I said, it is intermediate oval in its head shape. So it steals a lot of the base protection and functional DNA from the higher end showy helmets, but allows it to be more attainable, which is a theme that we're seeing in motorcycle helmets right now, which is steal DNA from the top of the food chain and use that DNA to make the mid range for the everyday rider that even needs to stretch sometimes a little bit, allowing more helmet for dollar to be delivered to customer, allowing you to enjoy your ride, be safer, and ultimately have a helmet that's gonna last longer based on features, fit, and finish. So again, that's the showy RFSR, again, just like the DTX, another staple within these premium lines. Now, the next step in your journey is click the info button, shop the full collection, watch detail breakdown videos, and read rider reviews on all of the helmets that I've showed you. Remember, they're part of our larger 2017 gear guide series, revzilla.com slash guides, where we cover the best in all of the key categories, like I said, whether you're upgrading or you're just starting out. As always, we'll ship free over 38 bucks. If you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching the fall update of our 2017 motorcycle helmet gear guide at revzilla.com. Don't be afraid to subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and the greatest in the motorcycle universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.